Hey guys, it's Susie with Susie Nails It, and today's video is going to be the Fallen Soldiers Memorial. So I have started off with prepping my nails with both a base coat and a color called Shore Bet. It's um, just S H O R E B E T. It's by Pure Ice and it's just a nice kind of taupe sort of color. On top of that, um, I did put a um, top coat on there. I've let that dry and now I'm going to go in with some acrylic paint and do a very thin watered out milky white. I'm using titanium white and lots and lots of water here and I'm just going to kind of go in and just do sort of a milky, smoky sort of coloring on the background like this. I'll take some of that out there. And I'm just going back and forth with water and paint until I just kind of get the look that I want. And I think I'm just going to kind of leave it just like that. We'll let that dry and then we'll, we're going to go in with some black acrylic paint and do the actual Fallen Soldiers Memorial itself. And this doesn't take very long to dry so it should just be just a moment here. The first thing I'm going to do for the Fallen Soldiers Memorial, I'm going to do the boots first. It's kind of a basic outline there of the boot. There we go. So we have the boot. Um, there's, it's actually two boots that are there. It's kind of hard to see when it's just a black shadow like this. Then we're going to start with our weapon. And I'm just going to do a straight line down to start with on that. All right, so we're going to do the barrel here. I can't really say that drawing automated weapons has been something that I did on a regular basis before. I'm actually going to take off some of this black here. I got this just a little bit too thick. And then we're going to thin out the butt of the gun a little bit here too. And then I'm going to do the helmet. Like that, and then I'll show you how I'm going to clean up around there to, to smooth that out and make it look a little better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my white. Oh, that's still a little wet. So I'm just going to take some bit of paper towel and dab that off.
So I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to go with my white and kind of clear this up a little bit here. There we go. So that looks a little bit more like a gun with the hat on top. Now, wherever I put this white here like this, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline a little bit with the white on the rest of it. And I'm just gonna pull that back and fade that out. And like right here, I'm gonna put a little bit more white there so that the black doesn't show through. But otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and feather this white out. I'm also going to outline his boot just a little bit here so it looks a little more clearly that there's two boots there. There we go. And now I'm just going to leave it just like that. All we need to do now is do a quick cleanup, some top coat, and we'll be finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do some cleanup. It's got some acetone with my brush here. And when you're using acrylics like I am, um, acetone will clean it up. But the other thing that you can do is once the um, once you put a top coat on, you can clean up around where the acrylic is with alcohol, and then that'll take the acrylic off and not do anything where you put the top coat, so your design will be safe. Or, also with it being acrylic, you can also just um, wash it off under tap water as well. So I'm going to open up my top coat, get some on here, and then we are finished. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget that you can also follow me on Suzy Nails It on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, again, it's the Fallen Soldiers Memorial. I'm doing this one for Veterans Day, but um, I hope you guys like it and have a great day.